In today's tech realm, fueled by digital creativity, success hinges on crafting computer chips, a marvelously intricate, sub-microscopic harmony of processes. What exactly is a microchip? Ever wondered about those tiny wizards powering our tech? A computer chip, or technically speaking, a microchip, is like a minuscule city of electronic circuits etched onto a slender wafer of abundant silicon. Picture this, back in 71, the Intel 4004 microprocessor strutted onto the scene, flexing its 2300 transistors and game-changing silicon gate tech. Fast forward to today, and the Intel i9-12900K CPU flaunts a mind-boggling 13 billion nano-sized transistors. Apple's M1 Max chip? Hold on to your hats, a jaw-dropping 114 billion transistors, smaller than a virus, yet a smidgen larger than a hydrogen atom. Now let's classify these chip champs. Microprocessors, the brainy CPUs. Memory chips, the data's short-term home. Graphical processing units, the visual virtuosos, and commodity integrated circuits, the utility players in gadgets like barcode scanners. These chips, big or nano, unite to weave the digital tapestry that colors our tech-driven lives. What kind of chemicals are used in making microchips? Delving deeper into the intricate world of crafting computer chips or integrated circuits, whatever you name it, unveils a symphony of specialized chemicals and materials. At the heart of these micro marvels lies silicone, a semiconductor gem derived from the humble sands of silicon dioxide. However, the ensemble doesn't stop there. Germanium and gallium arsenide also take their star turns, each possessing unique attributes that qualify them for the transistor ballet. Imagine the transistor as a gatekeeper, poised to usher in a stream of electrons upon a voltage command to its gate electrode. This command turns the once slumbering transistor into a lively conductor, permitting the electric current to peer away from source to drain. Intriguingly, an insulator stands guard, confining the current's exuberance until the transistor's awakening. What's truly mesmerizing is the swiftness of this dance, a choreography executed in the blink of an eye. Nay, in mere nanoseconds, a testament to the chip's lightning reflexes. As if channeling the energy of a thousand lightning bolts, circuits burgeon with hundreds of thousands of these dexterous dancers, all intricately orchestrated on a single stage, a wafer of silicon. Behold, the alchemical symphony of modern computing, where elements fuse and electrons waltz to the rhythm of innovation. How are computer chips made? Embarking on the magical journey of crafting computer chips, we unveil the secrets of their birth through a wondrous act known as semiconductor fabrication. These mystical materials, known as semiconductors, possess the unique power to conduct electricity, divided into the enchanting realms of silicon, the star of our show, gracing computer chips, and the captivating germanium. So let's embark on an illuminating odyssey through the steps of this intricate process. Phase 1, starting with sand. The remarkable journey of crafting a computer chip commences with a unique variety of sand, scientifically known as silica sand. This sand, composed primarily of silicon dioxide, forms the bedrock for semiconductor fabrication. The essential ingredient, silicon, demands a state of absolute purity to play its role harmoniously in the intricate symphony of production. Phase 2. Refining for the pristine silicon ingot Evolving to the next chapter, we delve into the art of cultivating a flawless silicon ingot. This cylindrical marvel, meticulously nurtured under precise conditions, embodies the epitome of silicon's purity. Through an intricate process of purification and meticulous filtration, electronic-grade silicon emerges as an astonishing 99.9999% purity. This crystalline jewel is then transformed into rectangular wafers, poised to metamorphose into future computer chips. Tailored to purpose, these wafers don different sizes and shapes, each edge meticulously honed to flawlessness ensuring uninterrupted passage for vital electrical impulses. Phase 3. Wafer Wizardry Advancing to the next enchanting phase, we orchestrate the transformation of circular silicon ingots into finely carved wafers. With careful precision, chip artisans carve silicon into desired sizes, setting the stage for computer chip creation. A process of polishing and cleansing ensues, preparing the wafers for their grand performance. These sculpted wafers then embark on a hypnotic journey, donning layers of diverse materials. 
Each layer weaves a unique tail, crafting electrical pathways or delineating distinct chip domains. This complicated procedure of creation unfolds, breathing life into the heart of every microcosmic masterpiece. Phase 4 – Unveiling Patterns with Light A delicate layer of light-sensitive material, known as photoresist, is gently applied onto the wafer surface. This photolithography process begins as the substrate is adorned with the photoresist coat. Under the spotlight of a pattern-bearing mask, the wafer is illuminated, revealing the desired design. With finesse, the exposed parts of the photoresist emerge, crafting openings that mirror the intended pattern. Finally, the wafer undergoes an etching spectacle, seamlessly transmuting the pattern into the very fabric of the substrate beneath. Phase 5 – Infusion of Ions and Conductivity Shift Once the photoresist is cleared away, the silicon wafer takes center stage for doping. This is a captivating act, where ions rain down upon the wafer, orchestrating a symphony of conductivity transformation. As the last traces of photoresist fade, an intriguing pattern of modified and unaltered material emerges, unveiling a tale of controlled impact. Phase 6 – Sculpting Through Etching The silicon canvas encounters a precise chemical process in this stage. Reactive substances delicately carve away a fine layer from the surface, guided by the hand of control. The intensity and duration of these chemical maneuvers determine the depth of the sculpted journey. For substantial transformations, patience allows the chemicals to wield their strength. This rhythmic etching and reimagining process weaves intricate designs, birthing diverse elements like memory chips and processors. This feat of transformation leaves behind a mask, a crafted pattern that endows the chip with both form and function. Ingeniously composed of adaptable photoresists, these materials perform a chemical ballet, imprinting a captivating pattern onto the chip's surface. Phase 7 – Electroplating Magic As the transistor nears completion, it gets a snug insulating embrace, and three strategic openings are delicately etched. Here, a remarkable process known as electroplating takes center stage, where copper ions are elegantly invited to rig upon the transistor's surface. This charming performance orchestrates a copper tapestry atop the insulating cloak. Once the encore is over, only three exquisite copper enclaves grace the insulating stage having bid farewell to the surplus copper allure. Phase 8 – Intricate Interconnections Beneath the hood of our device-powering computer chips lies a mesmerizing tapestry of interconnects, each layer a mere whisper of atoms in thickness. These interconnects, akin to intricate metal threads, elegantly weave a connection between diverse electrical components. Every wire boasts a unique purpose, harmoniously choreographed to converse seamlessly. With this intricate web linking each transistor, the chip awakens to a symphony of processor-like prowess, ready to orchestrate its digital opus. Phase 9 – Precision Testing and Die Crafting From the unified wafer, small squares emerge, each a potent package of millions of transistors, aptly named die. With meticulous care, these dies undergo rigorous testing before being gracefully sliced into individual chips. These masterpieces are then lovingly encased and set forth on their journey to computer manufacturers, carrying within them the promise of technological marvels. Phase 10 – Artful Encasement – Packaging The die's transformation culminates in a unique embrace, a substrate and a heat spreader entwined to form the iconic silhouette of a desktop CPU. A process of thermal exchange unfolds as the heat travels from silicon to heat spreader and then finds solace in the cooling arms of a heat sink. This exquisite package undergoes rigorous trials, assessing power efficiency, peak frequency, and a medley of performance metrics, ensuring each processor's readiness to captivate the digital realm. In the end, let's see who produces computer chips. The arena of computer chip production is dominated by giants like Samsung and Intel, renowned names in every home. Additionally, a lot of other companies craft embedded chips for a vast array of devices, spanning smartphones, vehicles, and the realm of interconnected smart technology. The intricate procedure of semiconductor creation features three key performers. Integrated device manufacturers, IDMs, take the stage as creators, crafters, and vendors of their unique computer chips. Dynamic, fabulous semiconductor firms shine as designers and sellers of chips, entrusting the manufacturing process to external partners. Pure Play foundries emerge as dedicated artisans, exclusively focused on crafting and supplying chips to both IDMs and fabulous semiconductor enterprises. Well, that's it for today, guys. But before we end, we'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Your input is valuable, and we're excited to see what you guys have to say about this groundbreaking microchip technology.